I knew that I was a maker and the school kind of allowed me to explore a lot more. It makes it really easy to feel supported in the right way, but also to be adventurous in the practice itself. Students come onto the course with a range of experience. Some of those students stay in one particular media area, printmaking for instance, or drawing or sculpture or, or painting, those are the key areas that we encompass. Also, a lot of the students change direction during that time, trying to encourage people to think outside the box and think outside maybe their comfort zone. That's how people progress as artists, I think. We have students coming from um, sometimes completely different disciplines like accountants. So for some students, it's very important to learn traditional skills first before they go into making their own work. As the course progresses, there's a greater emphasis on a self-directed practice, exploring materials and exploring processes, trying to define a subject matter for their work. Materials are so important. They are the language that you use to express yourself through what you make. Tutor, technician, but also students alike are very knowledgeable about what they use, the technique and the tools they use, and at the same time, they're not in fear of pushing those boundaries. Whether they're technical support staff, academic staff, visiting tutors and so on are all engaged in art practice. We've been given a lot of one-to-one -one time with the tutors, a lot more than I expected. There is a great level of passion that's within the tutors and I think that definitely reflects into the students' work. This idea that I could come in five, six days a week and just work it and hone and expand my skills. When I'm walking past, I know I can speak to a stone carver, someone on conservation. That's what this is, not just a community of art students but a community of working artists. Students have their own working spaces. As the students progress through the years, or well, they have a larger amount of space, often the scale of the work and the ambition of the work increases as people go through the course. I like also the fact that all these spaces are inhabited by different students. It was a really um, selling point for me because that's exactly what I needed, an art family, and I think I found it here. I love being in, in this room with other students, other artists. It's a really invaluable experience to see my peers to push their own boundaries and how they, their work develops. The art history component, it's very much engaged with the practical side of the course. There's a real sort of synthesis, I think, between thinking about art and making art. Many of the students who are enrolled on the course are recipients of financial support. And that's something we'd always encourage students who are interested in the course to talk about with us further, about what forms of support might be available to them. Some of them cover full tuition, some of them are partial grants. And then when students are in the course, they can also apply for uh, bursaries for materials. There are different charities linked to the school that can also assist with that. There's an emphasis on professional practice at all levels of the course, you know, rather than waiting for people to get to the third year, or how might I survive, or work as a practicing artist. We try to kind of focus on that from the first year. Different types of art professionals come in and uh, do talks, practical advice on networking and on applying to different funding opportunities. But then there are other opportunities like the competitions we have and the end of year shows where students are given a chance to really hone this idea that we're all working artists here. A lot of the opportunities that I've been getting have actually been through my fellow course mates, which has been a great opportunity to meet new people, especially in the London art scene, which is very difficult to do when you've not got that community around you. It's intense to work here. There's so many challenges and there's so many directions you can take if you want to be challenged, but at the same time, in a, an environment that is really nurturing, this, I think, is the school for you. Mm -hmm.